quite often get people asking me what do I eat when I'm on the road or how do I cook in the van and all that stuff and that's what seems like every van or youtuber in the world is doing cooking videos on how they make food in the van I'll do this one video and we'll see how it goes over and uh, if you guys like it I can do some more but for today we're having gourmet hamburger helper I'm gonna put a little bit of a twist to it I know this stuff's probably not good for you and all that kind of stuff but it's done me well so far so I'm gonna continue to do it hamburger helper I like the three cheese and this stuff was real cheap so that's what I bought you're supposed to mix it with a hundred percent or with one pound of hamburger that's all I brought on this trip was one pound so I'm gonna use a half pound I'm gonna cut the cut the whole thing in half and try to do it twice we'll we'll see how it works out um, so I got my fancy pan here with a half pound of hamburger in it there's my cook stove I just set it on the floor in the van and I stand outside and cook usually I'll set it right here to, to where I can reach it and then that way it gets blocked by the wind that's just an El Cheapo fits right on your bottle and has its own little stand which makes it nice and stable and that's what I'm gonna do so let me get it started and then I'll show you the whole process of how to cook hamburger helper in the van so there we go guys there's the hamburger cooking up it's looking good and I'm just gonna take half of this package dump it in there and half of the noodles dump those in there and then I'm gonna put out of my water bottle exactly half of what they call for so I'm gonna put a cup and a half of water in there exactly there we go exactly one and a half cups of water and give it a stir bring that to a boil I'm gonna put exactly half of the noodles in a couple more there we go exactly half the noodles and then I'm gonna to have to use both hands to do this but I'm gonna put half of this seasoning packet in there and I'll come back and show you what that's looking like as it starts to boil and cook okay I got exactly half of that sauce mix in there and seasoning mix now I know this is going to be would be a whole lot better with milk like it calls for but I didn't bring any milk so if you don't have it you just make do with what you got so I'm gonna stir that up get the sauce mixed real well and I need to review the instructions but I think it says let this simmer for about 15 15 minutes or so dinner's done but this is usually the part of the video where I open up the finished product and then I get my camera up real close and I spoon it into my mouth make all kinds of moans and groans and sighs about how wonderful it is and drip a little bit down the front of my shirt <clears throat> I'm not gonna do that on this video guys I'm just kind of having fun. I'm making fun of some of the videos that I see out there of people cooking and stuff. So I didn't mean to hurt anybody's feelings, so don't get all wound up about it. But anyway, here's my dinner. It is what it is. It looks good and it tastes good as far as I'm concerned. That's probably about, uh, I think the box makes five servings. That's about two, two and a half, which is more than enough. Um, but like I said, I'm going to spare you guys watching me shovel that into my face. I promise you that uh, I won't complain about it. I'm sure it'll be good. And I'm hoping it's going to be enough to carry me up that mountain tomorrow. With the uh, If I wake up and everything's nice and beautiful and weather's good, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take that hike. So thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully I didn't make anybody angry or 
get any feathers ruffled. I'm again, I'm just having fun. Uh, but that's the way I do it, and it works for me. So, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.